All right, welcome back. This is episode 39. We're As gonna head say. deeper into the ruins and see what we find here. Just a little ways to go, I seem to remember. Uh, let's go this way first. Is this where the ritual takes place? I think it is. Or maybe... I can't remember, is that... There might be a treasure room back there. Alright, so there's a fountain. I think we have to look at that codex entry to figure out what to do here. And there's an altar over there. Alright, the topmost panel shows a jug overflowing with water standing on an altar. Three elves in robes are positioned around the altar, while a crowd of elves in warlike regalia stand just slightly apart from them. Just below is a depiction of all the elves, those in robes and those in armor, prostrating themselves before the altar with worshipful expressions. Third from the top is a carving which shows one of the three road figures, a woman with an elaborate tattoo on her face, drinking from the jug on the altar while the other elves watch. The bottom shows the tattooed woman standing waist deep in a pool of water. She holds the jug with water spilling out of its mouth. The armored elves bow before her. Hmm. All right. So the first step should be a jug overflowing with water, putting it on an altar. Because this can't be actually overflowing, just close to it. So, there's the fountain. Uh, it is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically. All right, so you can drink it. You can examine. You can let's take the jug, and then we're gonna fill it with water. Um, fill the earthen jug with water. There we go. Fills up completely. And leave the pool alone. Let's put that on the altar. Lots of choices here. Um, you can pour water, you can leave an offering, you can kneel and pray. We're just going to place the earthen jug there. And leave it alone. Items received. What do we get? Oh, must, maybe you actually get the earthen jug and then you can take it there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Um, so, those, all of them kneel before the altar and pray. So let's do that next. Now before the altar and pray. Alright. I need to bind codex to a key so I don't have to keep accessing it through the journal. Um, okay, so now we need... Now she drinks from the jug on the altar while the other elves watch. So I guess I'll take her role then. Um, examine the earthen jug. And then, ooh, is this a single sip or all the water? Let me look at that again to see how much she uses. Um, just says drinking. Probably just a sip though, because it looks like we need the jug for the fourth one. So a sip is a drink, right? So, yeah, there's no middle ground. Let's either take a single sip or drink all the water. So, let's take a single sip. And then we're going to take the earthen jug. And then we're going to go back to the pool. And we have to stand it, apparently, with the jug. Um, I don't know if standing in it is actually an option. She holds the jug with water spilling out of its mouth. The armored elves bow before her. Huh. It's not really one of my choices, though. Examine and test, maybe? She doesn't actually dump it, does she? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we have to. As soon as it's empty, it shatters. The piece is falling into the pool. Did we fail or did we succeed? Nice. Game saved. Quest completed. Perhaps the ritual has changed something nearby. According to the tablet, the doorway leads to the honored dead. I think we did it. So we came that way. Yep, we opened the door. 
And there's a shade there, so let's save the game, because this could be a tough fight. That's a pretty cool quest, I like that one a lot. These things can have unusual powers, be wary. Are there more of them? All right. Is that the boy's mother, maybe? Was the boy an elf or a human? I didn't really notice. She looks like a human, though. One of the humans that lived here in ancient times, perhaps? I don't understand what you're saying. Alright. So, I'm gonna kind of pull her to interrupt that spell. And then maybe shatter her. Nope, that's okay. I still do a lot of damage. Hey, that shattered her. Ooh, two greater shades, too. This could be tough. Very well. Quickly, we must fight. I've done a lot of damage, though. Time for the dance. Shall Oops, we there we go. Elven burial chamber. What is in here? Ah, the last piece of the Juggernaut armor. Okay. Cool. And we got a codex entry on Euthanera. It was an act of reverence. The elves did not age. They were not immortal, but they did not suffer from the deterioration of mind or body. It did not happen often, but the oldest of the elves were said to reach a point where they became weary of life. Memories became too much to bear, and rather than fade into complacency, they voluntarily stood aside to let generations to let newer generations guide their people. Euthanera means the long sleep, in which the elder would retire to a chamber that was one part bed and one part tomb. To great ceremony from all the extended family, the elder would succumb to a slumber from which they would not wake for centuries and often never. In time, the body would deteriorate and the elder would die in truth. All the while, family would continue to visit the chamber and pay respect to the one who made such a great sacrifice. With the arrival of humans and the quickening of elven blood that, ens that ensued, the practice of Euthanera began to fade. When our laughing fell, it ceased forever. So that the juggernaut must be buried with an elf who went through that rite of Euthanera. Maybe that was the woman we saw? She didn't look like an elf though, but who knows? As you say. Really the only way to tell us the ears, and I thought she had rounded ears, but I don't know. I could have been mistaken with the hair, it's hard to tell. That is a pretty cool ritual though. Nice little bonus quest there. And we now have the full set of Juggernaut Plate. That Alistair might want to use when he gets uh, a couple more stats. I, I even froze the dead one. Oh, Careful. this room. Oh, there's more. All right. Earthquake. I'm not going to bother with the blizzard though, because the blizzard doesn't really do much to it. I can't. Uh, Alright, so basically if you don't move, the earthquake doesn't affect you. It's only when you try to move that you lose your footing. So it's nice for a mage, because we really don't have to move. Unfortunately, the shaking screen just makes you a little dizzy. Now they're angry. Uh oh. Are you gonna taunt, please? Okay, you taunt. There we go, just in time. Level up.
getting pretty full in our inventory. Let's level these guys up. Alright, Sten. I think we decided you do need more strength still for the... No, we decided... Well, I guess might as well give him strength anyway. Let's give him strength for now and see what else he needs. Oh, we can have another skill. Oh, he needs 12 cunning for that, though. Drax. Hmm. How much does he have? 10? What does cunning do? Anything useful? Um... Not a lot for warriors. It would mainly be for the extra combat tactics slot, which I do kind of want, but uh, I don't know. Can get him survival, I guess. Death blow could be good. Doesn't really want disengage. Two-handed sweep is really nice. Let's go for that. A nice uh, point blank AoE. And it doesn't have friendly fire by the looks of it, so that's pretty cool. And Alistair, you need more strength, so you can wear that armor. It's funny that as a tank, his strength is higher than his constitution, but we'll, we'll get that up there later on. Yep, you need more cunning too, don't you? He has 11, though, so I might just throw a point into it. So we can get this. Bravery. Bonus to damage and physical resistance could be nice. Shield expertise, because you higher defense bonus, and immunity to direct knockdowns while using shield wall. Assault is also pretty good. What's shield mastery? This one? Yeah. So that kind of buffs everything else. We'll go with that for now. All right. What? How are your tactics looking? Yep. Extra slots are always helpful. That way you don't have to micromanage as much. All right. So I'm gonna do a quick save here. Great and a phylactery. This elaborate artifact has a gem-like structure that contains what appears to be blood, fresh and liquid even after all this time. The gem is vibrating slightly. Uh, let's see if they have any commentary. It looks elven, all right. Considering that what I know of my ancestors, you could fit into a gem half that size, uh, that's all I could really tell you. <laughs> Elf magic. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? You think it would be all dried up after so long? <laughs> there must be magic involved. Well, you are a lot of help. Um, I'm going to touch it. The gem is warm to the touch, and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images, and memories from a life not your own. Interesting. The presence in the gem is at first alarm when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear, and the images that rush your mind are the are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. Ah, so somebody was imprisoned here, it seems. Who are you? What are you? The presence thinks quickly, bewildered. Finally, it decides that you are indeed real, and not a product of its fevered imagination. More images flash, flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering silver armor. But this was long ago, remembered as if through a fog. Uh, what is this place? What happened here? The images that come are slow, as the presence must think back to the time it barely recalls it all. You see a place of serenity, where the eldest come to slumber and are visited by those who offer tribute to the gods on their behalf. So this seems like it was an elven tomb in the ancient days, a place where they came to uh, to go into that deep sleep, euthanera, or whatever it's called. The presence's memories of what happened there are uncertain. There are flashes of violence, of war, but it is all too long ago. None of it is clear. Uh, how did you end up in this gem? You see images of a great battle, elves and humans both screaming and attempting to flee from some terrible presence. What that presence was is blurry and lost to time. Huh. So they were fighting together then, against some other horror. The presence fled the destruction by using the life gem, escaping its body. It was sure that someone would come to rescue it, but no one did until now. Ah, so it wasn't imprisoned. This was his way of hiding from the terror. But after all this time, nobody's ever found it until now. Um, how do I know you're not a spirit tricking me? 
You see faint images of a mage holding the life gem and chanting in an unknown language. There are no other memories. The presence does not know how to prove this to you. So you were once a mage? You see images again of the elf in silver armor, one who is a mage and warrior both. The name for the order he belongs to translates in your mind to arcane warrior. What is an arcane warrior exactly? The presence can remember little. You see images of an order of elven mages who channel their spells into their strength, fighting as arcane warriors to defend their charges. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within it on how to become an arcane warrior. You could become one yourself or teach the knowledge to other mages if you choose. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer, the last of its memories. In return, the presence only asks one thing from you, oblivion. Um, how would I give you the release you seek? The images that come are faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar and the life gem placed upon that altar. The life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. Yes, I will try to help you. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows the life gem must be placed upon it. All right, I'm going to leave it alone for now. Just because I want to do a save first to make sure I'm doing this right. So in case you haven't guessed it, this is how you get the Arcane Warrior specialization. All right. Um, approach the stone altar with the gem. As the life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the Arcane Warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. So it's nice that you can actually say I require nothing in return for an act of mercy, but I'm going to say yes, because you know, it'd, be, it'd be good to have. I don't know if we'll actually use it, but... The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the Arcane Warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks you that you keep your promise, release it from its eternal prison. Oh, so you can, you can betray it if you want to, but we'll do it. Place the artifact on its stone altar. The last images from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. Yay! Specialization unlocked. And Alistair approves. So that's a cool little mini quest to uh, unlock the specialization. I don't. Oh, and I can level up too. I guess the XP from that wasn't enough. Was it? See, I'm kind of. Was it the quest that did that, or do you always get to level up whenever you learn a specialization? I'm kind of worried now. Um. Oh, well, I'm just going to go with it. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to check that up. Because if it, if you do, um, you know, get a whole level every time you get a specialization, I'd rather save it until I just level up and then come back and do it. So, one minute. All right. So, I couldn't actually find anything about that. Um, I see. I feel like I remember that being true, though. So, just in case, although it also might not be because I'm, I'm very close to leveling up. But either way, it doesn't hurt to just level up from doing something else in the ruins, killing a couple more mobs, and then we can come back and do that really quickly. And maybe I'll get a bonus level out of it. Probably not, though. I'm probably making this entire thing up. But for science, let's figure out if it's true or not. Alright. Is this the way we came? No, it's not. Good. Are there more spiders up ahead? I saw, like, a spider hole there. But I don't see any more webs. Oh, there are enemies not here. Let them overwhelm us. Orders. That was a really bad two-handed... Oh, I'm on the wrong... Oh. Haha, ha, I'm controlling him with... Oh, so he used Kono on his old then, because that's what I was trying to do. Alright. Um, or did I switch characters in between? Uh, whatever. You need help? Ooh, Have nice. you no concern for your own existence? <laughs> quickly, we must fight! There's at least one more enemy down there, though. They can probably take him on their own. As you say. I'm gonna gather some loot. There's a fire crystal for Sten. Not Sten, Shale. You guys done? Got Having fun over there? Nope, it's mission skill. Alright, so apparently there's still guys alive. There are. Let's change that, shall we? Have you no concern for your own existence? Oh. Away with you! Alright. Almost there. Uh -oh. oh, I hit a trap. Back away. You know what? In fact... Oh, didn't mean to hit that. Oh, well. All you guys run outside. Let's throw behind you. 
All right. You know what I'm going to try to do, actually? Is make an earthquake. And a blizzard. And we'll see how they feel about that. Because you can cast spells through doors. Which kind of makes sense, I suppose. All right. On it, as you say. Are we hurting them? As you like. taking damage. I don't see any numbers. They're losing health, though. All right, close the door. Ah, oh, they opened it again. As you said. See, they're not taking a lot of damage, though, because they are almost immune to cold. Shall we take so, I don't want my guys going in there, because they're not immune to cold. Gosh, this is tough. All right, these Shall are just skeletons. We, you say. we must fight Oh, them. Nerm, he's immune to nature damage. Let's do it quickly. Oh, jeez. See, uh, they just they make fire way too obvious and way too powerful in this game. I, I need to get lightning stuff is what I need. Lightning is where it's at. Also, when he needs to taunt. Seriously. As you said. Hey. Oh, I hit another trap. Sorry, Alistair. The level up to restore all my mana, though, which is pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna... You know what, let's just force field him. All that fire, I can't heal you guys to that, you know, right? Can you just get out of here? Nope, they're all gonna die. Because you all are morons. All right. I've just begun. Really interested here. Just you know. Done. Let them come to us. Let them come to us. Come on. Come on. They want to attack us? They have to come around this corner. I can keep healing you in the meantime. Here we go. Perfect. And that's how you use save. Nicely done, Alistair. At least that one of my party members has common sense. Uh, less fun than I would have liked. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and level up. I'm not going to take the Arcane Warrior specialization. We'll go back and get it for real in a second. Um, I don't know if I want more willpower or magic, though. Let's put it into... Mm, willpower. I won't point magic. There we go. Um, I am going to put it into Spirit Healer, then. Since we easily could have learned that from buying the book from Levy if he actually sold it. And I'm probably going to put this one point into group heal. Despite the fact that I really like to start getting some lightning abilities. Wouldn't mind having Petrify because it's a... Uh... Actually, it's not another critical strike. It's another um, another way of freezing them. Same with Kona Cold. So they're, they're vulnerable to critical hits. Um... I'm kind of regretting going for Rejuvenate Regeneration, because putting two points just for Regeneration isn't really worth it. Master Rejuvenation can be good, but I'd, I'd rather spend these three points somewhere else, but eh, I don't know. I'm not going to go back on it now. Um, Alright, so yeah, definitely going to put this into group heal. Yeah, because honestly, I'm probably actually going to just take group heal and put it over here. And use that as like a backup. Let's do that. I like to keep space between my different types of abilities when I can. I wish I had more than more than ten keybinds. I guess I don't use Mind Blast that much. I could probably get rid of that and use that as a clickable ability. Just not a fan of clicking in general. I can also move this because it is such a long cooldown. So it's better to have abilities with longer cooldowns as your clickable ones. All right. So luckily we're not too far away from the arcane guy. So let's go ahead and do that. Group heal is awesome though. I'm going to really enjoy using that. Actually, in fact, I might want to make now nah, lose F. All right. As you say. Um, push the gem. Become a warrior. How about I give you the release? Yes, I will help you. 
Yes, let's get the gem. Continue. Yes, give me your memories. Place the artifact in the stone shelter. Yay. Ta da! Alright. Not on Mac level up. I will. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of had a feeling it would be too good to be true, but worth a shot. It does give you a, a bit of experience though that quest, so still worth it. I think Zevran's back to the one. Yeah, so it'll be a while before we get to level up now, but that's okay. I really enjoy level ups. It's one of my favorite parts of the game is like building your character, and making them more powerful. Unfortunately, I'm already level what 13 now. Yeah. Yep, 13. And Very well. what I say, the cap is 25. With the default game, I think you can only get to like 20-ish, 21 maybe. Ah, uh, I triggered another trap, didn't I? Uh, get out of the room, out of the room. Do I have to for this room to go forward? I don't think I do. I think that way's the way forward. No, actually I don't. Oh, I'm actually it might be. Come to think of it, I seem to remember Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. Very well. Nice dagger. The glass phylactery, aha. Uh -huh. Alright, we're gonna have to save this one. Or save the game before we do that one rather. How are you guys doing on injuries? I might just wait for Sten to get one more. Go on then. What's what's the little hearing loss? Penalty to defense. Eh, that kinda sucks, but whatever. Alright, I'm gonna position you guys. I want you to be. Put you in the back here. Alistair up front. Not really sure where he spawns. Uh, unfortunately, Aravil has to be here because he has to be the one to trigger it. Continue. Take the vial. The glass fractures at your touch. So this is one of the Reapers. Sorry, one of the Revenants. Too much Mass Effect. Um, that is part of the glass vial Shall quest, obviously. Uh, let's. I don't. The chances of shattering a boss are. I think it's actually impossible. But at least we can get some damage on him. Uh, everyone attack. Sorry. I guess I should have said that. At least this one is just him. Aura of weakness. Alright, I'm gonna try to get out of that. You can see it on the ground there. I shall do it. Luckily, we I have group heal now. Are you not attacking? Why are you not attacking? Go. Um, probably went to him. Oh, he pulled me in. And I have aggro. Alright. You don't have enough stuff to taunt, so I'll have him taunt instead. It's nice having a backup tank. We're out of range of that weakening thing. Alright, see, there's Zevran being an idiot again. At least I actually have group heal now. Look at that. That's like my favorite spell in the entire game. All their health just went way up. Of course, they'll stand there in the aura. It's not going to matter because it's going to go way down again. But still. Uh, I'm going to put this thing on Sten. His stamina <laughs> is And then rejuvenate on Alistair. Shall we go? Very well. See? Uh, the AI in this game could really use more movements. Only thing is group heal does have a long cooldown, which makes sense. Actually, it's not that long, but a lot longer than regular heal. Oh, he's immune to this. He's probably immune to nature damage too, though, isn't he? Severin, what the hell? God. I want to turn his tactics off, so I'm going to need to do. Just turn them on again later on. Send me. All right. Let's grab some glory. Quickly, we must fight. Let's try that again. Yeah, Stand up, Mega Tiger now. Don't give them the advantage! I still remember my first battle. <laughs> Shall be done. Stan. 
Do I want to use a potion or I might just use the injury kit because he's going to die. Yeah. Anyway. I'm getting pulled. Yep, he's a, he's immune to both of my staff types. Great. Do you have anything to taunt with? No, you don't. How do you not have aggro? Seriously? Aggro is also bugging this game too, and a lot of things that are supposed to draw aggro don't. I, I don't. I'm gonna have to use potions to heal myself, and I really don't want to. If I just run away, he won't kill me. I hope I don't get blood all over me again. Okay, better kill him. Nope. Oh, he's missing like, all of his attacks. Seriously, guys. One more hit. We Thank you. Awesome. What do you mean, we? Alice didn't miss the work there. Alright, up and at him. Uh, now I have. What's this? Open wound. Penalty to nature that. resistance. That's not too bad. So most of these injuries aren't actually that bad. Alright, decent stuff from him. But I think we're actually full on inventory. Yep. That's okay, though. Alright, Sten. You can actually use an injury kit now. Alright. Might need one for myself soon enough. Let's keep going, though. Who is this guy? It's just an enemy up there. See, uh, this. What's the point of having a rogue? Like I, I honestly might as well not even bring Zephyr to the party ever. Because yeah, it's just an archer. Because the only reason I want to make sure I have a rogue all the time is to, you know, so I don't run into traps like this. But if I'm going to do it anyway. The thing is, that's actually a lot of XP. Okay, everyone stand still. There's a ton of XP if you actually disarm the trap. Instead of... See, you can't even see... The, he's standing right next to me, you can't see it. Because there's just no point in having a rogue. You can't do any rogue stuff. Yeah, inventory's full. Um, alright. No vendors around, so what can we destroy? It's not worth that much. I can probably give some gifts away. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I know the... Some of this stuff is meant for a dog, like the bone. But, whatever. How nice. <laughs> Silver medallion, I think that's... Um, Let's destroy. I don't know what these are worth, actually. Private documents can't be worth much. Yeah. Adventurer's Journal. New Codex Unbound. Oh, uh -huh, I remember this. Okay. The riders follow after every town. Ever since my lucky break deciphering the story, I see it now, how they take the locals closest to me, preventing rest or kinship. I thought this a road to glory, but I am dodged at every step by his talons. Gax Kang. Curse his name in the day I heard it. Journey journal ex excerpt from an unnamed long dead adventure. That is a really cool quest, which we will do later on. It is very difficult. Sigh. Alright, everyone come here. I, I don't know. Maybe you can. I see enemies ahead. It shall be I'll be done. The skeletons. <sighs> The other ones don't seem to be coming at us yet. There they come. Should we earthquake? 
maybe. Yeah, why not? Because I can turn your tactics back on, can I? Since we're not fighting any more revenants for now. I like the pushback from that. That can be useful to push them into a uh, earthquake eagle version. Of. That wasn't a hard fight. The ring. Uh oh. Oh, uh, this now this one might be. This is actually a boss fight, I think. I didn't save it though. An arcane horror. And minions apparently. I'm not sure they're gonna come or not. Um, I shall do. Fireball, watch out, spread out, spread out. He teleports too, is the thing. I shall do. Alright, so now he's teleported and summoned minions. I guess I can probably. Use this on him. I'll take care of this guy. My bad. I'm gonna try to use this thing, it won't keep me so long, but it'll still do some damage on him. Vulnerability hex, great. I shall do and another fireball. See, that's why I really want mana clash. Oh, I can group heal again. Mana clash would do a ton to him. Lighting stuff would be good too, because it reduces their. Um, what do you call it? His mana pool. Begun. Honestly, Zevern, it might be better for you to just. More skeletons. Force field is back. I can use another mana potion. Oh, he still got a fireball off, didn't he? Oh, jeez. And I'm dead. Uh, why do I like? I don't remember this game being this hard. Like, I feel like I'm building my party very. Maybe it's the fact that I'm switching on my party so much. I'm not actually learning their moves and controlling them, you know, individually. I'm just relying on the tactics and even the default tactics too. But, but this is just not going well. I'm just gonna reload this. All right. Um. Nature resistance shouldn't really matter. Mm -hmm. If you don't have anything, all right, you guys are good. So I guess let's maybe after we finish this whole arc, actually we'll go through and give them um, custom tactics. That might be good at this point. We must fight. All right, let's use another earthquake because that seemed to work out pretty well. Almost dead. Hopefully we can always save it after this fight. Alright. Yep. Out of combat. So let's save it. Did I turn your stuff back it? on? No. I'll turn this off for the time being. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely a boss fight up ahead. So we'll probably finish this fight and then call this an episode as well. But let's win it first. Um, any buffs or anything I need to do? Not really. Not yet, at least. Alright, so there he is. Everyone, attack. 
As you like. It is begun. Wrong staff. Why did I hit? I keep hitting Z instead of X. As you say. Spirit blast. That's not too bad. I'm gonna start with this. The telekinetic prison thing. He resisted it anyway. Okay, we're doing a pretty good amount of damage. My initial. Let's, let's do that, and then that. Oh, you don't want to be in that lightning storm, Sten. I'm probably have to micromanage this fight, which is okay. It makes it makes it fun. So let's do. I'm gonna use that spell on him. Zevrin. I don't know if it's better to have him in range or not. I just, as a rogue, I just, I like Liliana so much better. Like in every single way, she has better utility. I like her rangeness, which goes better with being a mage. Alright, bash him. Um, and Aerovale, I'm going to have you. You've got to kind of hold these two skeletons and where they run. Or all three? I can't, oh, I can do all four. Oh, I didn't get the prison off, though. Alright, let's get these guys first. And then he's force fielded. Everyone's still pretty okay on health. Let's put this on Alistair though. As you say. And I could do an earthquake, but that would probably hurt my team more than it would help them at this point. Does everyone help these guys first? Do you have two-handed sweep up? You do. This won't take so we're gonna use that. I go. That was nice. Alright. His force field should be up soon. As you wish. Or down soon, rather. There it is. I can just grasp as well, though, Arcane Horror. Just begun. I really wish I had a lightning spell. What is this thing? Is this an electric storm? Very well. By the maker! Alright. Oh, that's not up yet. So he's almost dead though, actually. There we go, that actually wasn't too bad. So I recommend kind of focusing the boss. Unless you have a CC on him. So he does, as a mage, he does a lot of damage that goes down pretty quickly. Which is a good balance. And that's a fun arcane horror fight too, it makes them feel like they're actually uh, one of the more powerful demons. Alright, so we have lots of loot here, and I don't think I can carry it. Um, it's actually not necessarily a bad idea to make one trip back in the middle of this level to go back to the vendor. I don't know if I want to do that though. Um, oh, we have so much loot though. I guess I can use some of these bombs or something. Less respect. I probably could, you probably could use the spirit bombs before that fight. Yay. Oh, well, there's more skeletons coming, though. Maybe I will make a trip back. I can't take more than a couple minutes. I'll do it between videos, though, because otherwise you all will be bored to death, I'm sure. Shatter. Ooh, sweet. No quarter shall be given. Locked was blocking me. Sure, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I want to get the corpses because those probably despawn if you leave the area. Um, Alright, 89. So let's take these. That's actually. That is really good for a mage. 20% cold damage. Because we don't have electricity damage gloves, which I really don't. I don't have any electricity attacks. So it doesn't really help me any. Does anyone need not have rings? Could I equip you with rings just as storage? Is that ring? And Sten as well. Take everything you can carry. I might have to wear a hat too, just to carry it with me. Alright. Can I take all that? I can. Yay, we're still not even quite full, but we're getting close. Um, so I'm going to equip these gloves, because they're very nice gloves. And I'm pretty sure each type of damage in the game has a plus 20% glove type like that, which are just about the best for mages. Um, Alright, but yeah. I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to take a quick break, run back to the vendor, 
I don't remember how much more we have to go. I feel like there's more to it, but I can't remember. Well, I guess the werewolves themselves we haven't really fought. But, um, yeah, anyway, when we come back, we will hopefully be able to finish up this plot arc. So I'll see you guys in a few.